Hi, this is Manisha Patel for Hudson County TV. We are here today in New York City at Tribeca Cinema for the screening of the movie A Sucker's Life. So let's go inside and check it out. You ever heard the saying it's a dog eat dog world? Elena, listen to me. We got another mouth to feed coming soon. But we can't ignore that like a cable bill. Babe, you gotta let me fix this. Fix it? Come on, babe, you know what I mean. That company man shit is for the birds. Niggas like us can't feed our families off the peanuts they be trying to give niggas. You know how I handle this money. When a man is stuck in an unfavorable position, his pride is eating away at him, and his fear of losing everything prevents him from taking certain risks. What should he do? Oh, I play Conroy, the leader man. Uh, he's pretty much, he has a choice to make. And you know, the movie is pretty much about choices and uh, what you, what the consequences are when you make those choices, whether they're good or bad. Mm -hmm. So did you have to do anything to prepare to play a role like this? Uh, well, it's, I've had a couple of weeks to prepare. Um, I mean, you know, the shooting process, it wasn't a whole lot of rehearsals. You know, it's a the film, so sometimes you don't get a whole lot of time to rehearse. But we had a couple of rehearsals. I actually had to learn how to smoke. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, didn't have to learn it, but it was something I wanted to add to the character, you know. And um, I thought that I really added something to it. So. Um, so how was your overall experience working on the film? And did you have any challenges that you faced or any a, difficulties? I had a blast working on the film. I had so much fun. Like, I was such the opposite of the character. You know, I was... <laughs> You know, the whole time I was joking around, you know, I couldn't, I'm not one of those type of actors that just stays in their role the whole time. Like, I, the whole time I'm just joking around, eating fruit and playing with people. And um, But the challenges, I mean, as far as that, maybe it's like scheduling, you know, because everybody has their own lives, you know. This is not anybody's, everybody's nine to five yet, you know. Everybody's not there yet, so. Um, but other than that, I mean, it was a pleasure to work with Larry and the whole cast and crew. Um, Sucker's Life is about a guy who's conflicted, you know, the log line says it all, a man must choose to provide for his family from behind the desk or behind the gun. So it's either work a nine to five or go out robbing. So he's conflicted with that because his girlfriend doesn't want him to be in the streets no more, but he's fighting that because that's, that's what he knows best. So that's, that's what the film is about. So what inspired you to bring this story to the screen? I mean, it's just a thought that came to my head. You know, I can relate to it a little bit. You know, I've, I've been in the streets a little bit. I work a nine to five and I hate my nine to five. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it, it's easier to make fast money sometimes. So, but and, you know, it's a decision. And how long did this movie take to, to bring it to screen? How long was the whole process? Five months. Wow, okay. Five months. And what's next for the film? Are you are you screening it more? Or? We're going to screen it more. We're going to enter into film festivals. We're just trying to break into this industry and get recognized. That's it. And I had some wonderful actors. I had a wonderful cast. So this 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 was easy. And so how does it finally feel that all your hard work is paying off and you get great. a full audience? It feels great. I'm getting great response, great reviews. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for coming. Yes. All right. I play Alina in the film, and she is Convoy's girlfriend. She's pregnant about seven months in the film, and um, she's going through a battle spot. I mean, she she met Convoy when she when he was in the streets and dealing with, you know, sticking up people, and and now they're in a place where she wants to kind of change. She wants to grow up. She wants to be an adult, and she wants to do it with him, and she wants to have. She wants to have him in her life as well as the baby's life. I mean, there's so many stories of, of people, of young girls not having their fathers or young boys not having their fathers. So that's very important to my character as a whole. And did you have to, what, what, what did you have to do to get this role? Uh, um, like I came in about like five minutes 
until like five minutes before we were gonna stop shooting they were gonna stop um, auditioning oh wow I uh -huh. ran in and you know I had to change my clothes uh -huh. to dress for the role and I had to do a monologue and I also had to read from a script which I didn't get be prior to so uh -huh. they gave me about five minutes to look over mm -hmm. it before and um, I just went in there and I did it they gave me a lot of energy the person that was reading with me so that was really nice and um, it was it was a blast. I had to prepare a lot because I played a pregnant girl, and uh -huh. I've never been pregnant before, so that was that was a challenge. But everybody on set was really comforting and supportive, and we all worked together really well.